Hey everyone, Sea World Bowtie here with another episode of Cuphead with a special guest. Sydney? <laughs> she stared at me like, oh crap, I'm supposed to speak. Um, we just finished ripping and croaks, which took longer than needed. It took um, a long time. I'm gonna go over here so I can do this little challenge after talking to. Here you go, on, spirits. Oh, wait, you here. I was about to hit you with the old pair and how to deal with these ghosts around here. Oh, and then we're trying to shoot someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not being places, would you fellas mind moving on? Spooky fish. Fish, she's a fish. Fishing. It's adorable. It's okay. It's okay. It's adorable. It's okay. It's classic, like, animator. You know it's a fo fog? A frog fishing? I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, I gotta parry. I was like, I started shooting, I was like, wait, I'm not supposed to shoot. Woo, I love these ghosts. Woo! 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 It's about to say, oh my gosh, I'm better. And boop, 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 because this is going to help me a lot once I can use it. Oh gosh, the old man almost got through. Why is, it, why is the old man so much faster than the rest of them? I don't know, smaller, I don't know. Look at him go! <laughs> Victory! Victory! I love that. I love the. F Gosh, I don't know how to thank you, boy. I'm speaking the exact same as the fish outside. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, give me a cool power up. Also, I know nothing about the um Netflix Cuphead series or show, um except for that there is a radio episode where they start fighting each other and they're trying to dodge the radio. That's all I know. Have you seen that, that video of the girl saying she can only do things that a, a like a toad would do? What? She's like, I can't evade taxes, but I can sit on a lily pad or something. What? Have you ever seen that? No! What are you talking about? You should look it up. I should look it up. Alright, I got zero coins. Um, because I need, I'm going to need one for this one up here, but hold on. I think. Why? What's, what do you do with the tree? Me. I'm over here where I'm not supposed to be yet. Because there's secret things. Um, I'm going to actually do this one first. But I'm going to get a whole bunch of coins by doing this, and I'm going to do the other one too. Booga. Should have done the first one, but I, I just wanted to show that I could do this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, is it ladybugs? Yes. You don't, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot you don't like ladybugs. Hold on, we can try because that was, that was, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, pepper. Okay. Oh, you don't, I can shoot, I forget. Oh, I shouldn't have shot that one then. Okay, I should have. Oh, why did not not go? Point. Oh, oh my! Oh, how did he not get hit? Think how I feel. Oh my gosh. Oh, how did I survive? Oh, because I was in um, Invincible. Oh, there's little spiky balls. Oh gosh. I don't know how he didn't die. Oh, I got switch. Whoa, what did I get hit by? Okay, well, I got halfway through. That wasn't too bad. I could have done better off. 
Huh? Now it's kind of like a progressive thing. Yeah, it's a straight up a level, but it has a um, mini boss at the end of each level. So, I mean, it's still like. You get it. It's a challenge to get through. Oh, oh. Come on, really? Okay, retry. I gotta get. I gotta get those coins. In animated things, I really like to try and find ways where they copy. Oh. Uh, have you ever uh, noticed mm -hmm. in Minecraft uh, uh -huh. how, how the blocks never look exactly the same, even though they're the exact same texture? Uh huh. Um. So apparently, the way that they're placed, based on like the X and Y, mm -hmm. depends on how they're rotated. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really cool. There we are, okay. It makes it not look repetitive, even mm -hmm. though it is. It is, yes. It, it's really clever design of that. I mean, that's for every single one, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on! I, mean, I can, I can't. It's, it's, so it's a chi branch. Why? Does it take him so long to be dead? I don't know. Well, also, I should be using the other one. I don't think about it. It's just the beetle tour problem in a nuisance because they move while the other ones don't I mean like the other people do move but you know what I mean oh my gosh whoa what did I get hit by really Ugh. oh also you asked me earlier um I have the Spider-Man movies. I have all three. The original with Tobey Maguire. Um, playing. You know what is absolutely bizarre to me? What? You haven't seen the new Spider-Man. No, I have not. Not okay. as right now. Yeah. Okay. How much do you know about it? I mean, I know what's supposed to happen because of comic books. Okay, what are you? What is supposed to happen? Okay, so what's supposed to happen is that Doctor Strange gets asked by Peter Parker in that dimension to erase everyone's minds because everyone now knows he's Pete Parker. But the only way to do it is to erase everyone's minds. Obviously, Peter Parker doesn't want his Aunt May, his friends, or the friends he wants to know. What happens is that everyone that knows Peter Parker, to a certain extent, um, is Spider-Man, or uh, like knows that it is a true fact, is sent to that dimension. Um, am I correct so far? Oh, freak, I saw it at the last second. Yeah. Um... And so, um, I don't know why, um, I know why a spell would have done that because of Doctor Strange and stuff and dimensions and crap, um, which I think a little bit more will be explained in the Dimension of Madness that's supposed to be coming out, um, oh, come on, but, come on, um, obviously, anyone that knows that he's Peter Parker, and possibly, and or at their lo last moments of death, um, knowing who Peter Parker is or whatever, a certain time frame, um, are sent to the same dimension that the spell is originated from, which is, um, help me with the voice, not the voice, the actor who plays Peter Parker or slash Spider-Man in the new Spider-Man movies. Tom Holland? Tom Holland. Um, yeah, um, they get sent to this dimension because that's where the spell originates from. Um, crap. Okay, so do you know all, who all gets sent? Well, most likely, uh, everyone's favorite, um, Spider-Man villain, um, Doc Ock or Dr. Octopus as the Daily Bugle phrases his as. Um, um, the Green Goblin. Because why not? Um, possibly a lot. A Sandman, maybe. Because that would be a good one to send in. Um, I have wasted the whole episode on this at one level. And I feel terrible. Hold on. You know what? Exit the map. I gotta do the first level first of these. Okay. You were asking who all gets sent. Obviously, it. Anyone from I don't know who all is in the Andrew Garfields because I never watched the Andrew Garfields. Me either. Because they're both terrible and good. I've only ever seen the Tobey Maguire ones, and I never even knew until I watched 
this the one that just came out uh, that um andrew garfield was one yeah because it, it takes into like the dark he's supposed to be like in the darker thing but the thing is the uh, the comic book series because of um he's the um is he the amazing spider-man in that oh crap that was a parrot right there maybe i don't know do you know how long i wanted to get into the comic books but i don't know where to start just start anywhere really well like i don't want to go not in order well that's the thing is and then i don't know what i need to read in order to read something else there are plenty of forums that you can read and, and i um, also want to read them like you know hands on like i want to be able to turn the page oh yeah well that's the thing some of those you won't be able to because they're either very rare or um no one has access to it or they're so rare like they won't even let you open it oh come on that was that was so mean Look at all the i know this is almost a pretty color uh, oh yeah once again they did really well like the red and game. yellow ones obviously but the ones in the front and in the back with that purple burgundy Yep, I beat the boss. Oh gosh. Jeez, hold on. I, I would pause to see if I can see how far I am. But I think they would have not allowed that to happen. Ooh. Yes! Took me... Did it take me two tries or was that my first try? Attempt. I think it was my second try. I could be wrong! I think it was your second, but I really... Was it? I wasn't paying that much attention. Ooh, I was so close. If I had not gotten hit once, I would have got a perfect score um, for that. But um, the thing is, for for my point of view, is that they chose a director for the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, which is supposed to be somewhat darker and somewhat different. Um, obviously, different power, different ways of the powers being acceptable. Um, which they might have talked about also in the newest Spider-Man with all of them going to the same dimension. Um, I really can't wait for you to watch it. I know, I can't wait to watch it. I thought it, it was really good. Um, but then again, I have a hard time not liking oh yeah, movies. Oh yeah, I have come to a time, like I might actually watch the Garfield um, Spider-Man just to... Um, finally just watch them and not criticize them as much because I've come to a point where I'm just like because I mean it was something Is I the criticism getting to you well that's the thing I've <laughs> I've accidentally become really critical about certain things I did not equip you've them. become critical about certain things hmm interesting, interesting. like I can still have it's a new development pos I can have positive criticism for things but there's certain times I'm like no I won't deal with this at all because of oh come on I didn't realize I was safe oh Those. I hate this guy. Hey, it's fine. I kind of forgot about him. Oh my god. What? What did he just shoot out of his head? What do you mean shoot out of his head? Oh, me? Yes. The milk. Or, as people predict, um, he alcohol. Shot milk out of his head. Yeah, because he's a. Or. It's mommy's milk. Oh, oh that was smooth. Soup of my nose. <laughs> well, then I am succeeding at being funny. <coughs> Ooh, I swear I should be getting hit right now. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I don't know why sometimes I mess up on that. The other times I'm good. Ooh, crap. That was really risky. How did you say he was supposed to be last time a gumdrop? Who? Hey, this guy? Yeah. Um, it tells you he's supposed to be like, he's supposed to be those little guys that you just saw in the last episode, or not episode, the um last um level. Oh, did you get him? Oh no. No. Oh, I forgot about this. He likes to slam you. Yeah, this one's good because I have to move around for this one. No! Oh, come on! How close was I? How close was I? How close was I? I'm very, I was very close. even in grave situations. Yeah, I, the puns, so good. Oh. Have you not been paying attention? Oh gosh! I am paying attention, but I'm really paying attention to that waterfall in the back. <gasps> the little creek. It's really cute. 
not that the you know the bosses aren't really cute animations, but like the background <laughs> and the in the foreground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Jeez, I got Those this. Trees, they're so pretty. Oh, that was. What? He bounced off the wall of the screen, and by doing so, he bounced right on top of me. Crap, I'm not gonna be able to get that one. Crap. Well, there goes my perfect score, including. Oh no, he's in the middle of the jump. Can I get him? Oh! Foo. That was risky, Carter. It was. No! Oh. Ooh. Okay, he's dying again. Ah, crap. It's fine. Yes! Woo! Oh, it's like a little heart. Mm hmm. To a certain point. Alright. Let me go back to the other run and shooting one after I get some upgrades, because, jeez. Oh. No, I already got upgrades. What am I talking about? I just didn't switch to them. Don't be me. Um. Yeah, let, uh, I'm gonna switch my power ups. Because the next one is Hilda. I've never asked you. Huh? What is your favorite superhero? In any universe. Or... Any universe? Or your favorite superhero from each universe. Okay, DC and Marvel. Okay, I was about to say, in real life, it's Electro Boy. Okay, not this universe. Hey, but he's all, like... I need to tell you that story, but I'm going to tell you that later. Because <laughs> I, Or you could watch the episode of um, Super Mario Galaxy, me and Caleb played, where I explained it to him. Um... But for Marvel, it's um, Spider-Man, Deadpool, and then Squirrel Girl. I've heard of Squirrel Girl, but I've never actually seen anything. Because granted, the only thing I've ever seen is the movies, which I'm, I've never read the comic books. But I I'm going to sound like a furry. I, just, <laughs> I, I love... My art she's, class think I'm a furry. <laughs> um, no, she's just... Uh, the... The characteristics of her, in the sense of like personality, or what make her makes her cute, but she also looks cute. Um, they draw like really in a very cute style, um, depending on which comic book series you read. There, there's one that's kind of like dark, and it's like really, what the freak? Okay, it's fine. I gotta beat this one. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, those are my three top. Um, Marvel characters. I really like Deadpool. I don't think anyone cannot like Deadpool, but I also really like Ant Man. He is. Oh, okay. I don't know why, but he just speaks okay. volumes. Are you me. speaking from the movies or from the comic books? Carter, how many times have I said that I have not read the comic <laughs> books yet? Um, I like him because of um the secrets he knows from Bruce Banner, because like both of them have secrets. Like no one knows that he's Ant Man. That's the thing. Like, uh, in the comic book series, depending on which one you read. Um, crap. Well, okay. I think I like Ant Man and Spider Man. And I like Deadpool. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna skip them. I like Black Woman, and I like. Black, Black Woman? woman. <laughs> Whoa! Black I mean, don't get me wrong, they're cool. Black, Black Widow. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> but um the one I like Ant-Man in of the comic book series is the one where um instead of um Pepper um marrying um Tony Stark it is um he he marries on um, Black Widow. Tony Stark? Yeah. And then she becomes um she has a Black Widow Iron Man suit. Okay. You didn't see that coming, did you? It's. I like seeing her as a single woman. Oh, yeah. You know, give me. Okay, a but what about um? Oh, I did not see that coming. 
But like, what I was trying to say is I like Black Widow, obviously, because she's a woman. But, um, <gasps> also... No! no! The recent movie, I've already forgotten the name of it, um, about her origin story. Oh, I have not seen that one. I don't know. I heard I it was okay. It was really interesting. It was really, it was a fun movie to watch. Yeah. Like, I feel like you'd enjoy it even if you didn't know anything about yeah. Oh, come on. Give me Perry. Ah. Come on. But I also haven't seen any of the, the shows that are on Disney. Oh, Plus, yeah. Like, Loki. Me um, I think there's a Hawkeye one coming out. I don't there, know if it's, it's already out. It's already out. I'm really excited to see the Loki one. You have no Oh, and WandaVision. Oh, yeah, WandaVision. I already know what happens in WandaVision from people oh. talking about it. I don't know what happens in Loki yet, but I know there's a lot of cool little secrets here and there if you're really paying attention. Mm -hmm. I just need a focus. Okay. What's your favorite uh, DC? DC, um... I don't know a lot that, about DC. Yeah, um... Gosh. The thing about DC is that you only hear about, like, the main people. Oh, gosh. I like, I don't really like the, um, I don't want to call it kitty version. I really like the darker version of DC because I think it's a lot more interesting mm. and, and fun. Well, what's interesting about that, um, it used to be really dark. Like, Batman would hang, um, criminals from his, um, Batcopter and just go through Gotham with them hanging. <laughs> See, that, to I be think that would be so cool. Like that side of um, heroes that is really mm -hmm. dark. I mean, they and in all movies and stories, people hate that. But I don't know. Because I mean, like, imagine seeing a very good person <laughs> going across the city with a bad person hanging from their helicopter. As a like example, hey, stop messing the city up. Yeah, or, like. Good. Yeah, but then um um not. It, it, the organization that says um service for teens or whatever um oh, come on <laughs> god um they were like um no 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 you cannot do this so they made it very kitty so it was like oh i stole a painting and now batman must find the painting or oh i'm going to cause batman to have itchy powder in his oh underwear oh my god have you seen the trailer for the new batman movie the batman no, I have not. Okay. Because uh, once again, I, I don't really <laughs> care about DC. Have you ever seen Twilight? Yeah, okay. no. Okay. I had to you think know, about that. Okay, you know the characters in it. You know the actors. Because to a it's point. very it's very popular. You can't yes, not I know, know what it is about. The Bat. <laughs> when I first saw the trailer, we, me and, when we saw Spider-Man, it played at the beginning, you know, like the ads. And I saw it... And I didn't know who it was with the mask on. And then there was one, like one frame, where he didn't have his mask on. And I said, "Mom, is that who I think it is?" And I was right. Oh come on! I thought I was like, "Oh, he will land on him." No, I can't. Uh. I'm not gonna be able to watch the movie and not think that he's a vampire. Yeah, it, it, um, a lot of people have actually talked about that. It's like um, Chris Pratt being in everything. It's like you get. Um, you get right out of the movie because you're like, oh, Chris Pratt, he's da da da, or da da da, depending on what you watched him first in, or a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But um, at the same time, he's good for certain characters. Do I think he's the best for playing Mario in the new Mario movie? Not really. Um, but at the same time, I have full faith that. Well, I don't have full faith. I have faith that they're gonna, like, try to train him how to speak right Mario. Because anyone, almost anyone, can do a Mario impression. But at the same time, it's like, and I mean, the guy that has always been the voice of Mario um, is making an appearance in it. I don't know as what, but like the other people, like the people that got for Luigi and uh, Bowser, even though it's Jack Black, I still think that's a really clever, oh, come on, I thought I shot him. For, for me, when people complain about who got what kind of character and how they don't think it fits that character, I personally don't really get the fuss because actors oh yeah they're, they're supposed to be able to play all different kinds of parts and they're if they're not able to play a part then that, that means they're not a very good actor this is true um which I, i've brought up to um many people in the past about uh like a good show and a good um 
really, really a good actor and show is that you can. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I fell on the stump. Uh, I swear, why is this, this level is not that hard? Um, a good level. Oh gosh, not a level. A good show and a good character is that if they're a bad person, you hate them. Like you have the spies for them. You're not like, oh, like in this one movie, they're da 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 da. You're like, oh my gosh, they're the bad guy. But um, and then it's like um, the show Lucifer. The person that plays um, some like the bad characters, you're like, oh my gosh, I just despise them. But then as soon as they turn around to become good, in a sense, um, yeah, like you have sympathy and you have like they're changing. Like you actually feel like they're changing. They're not like, oh, they're playing the part and stuff. Because you actually feel like they're actually being the characters. Yeah. But there are some shows where it's like, oh, I'm the good guy. But I, I've, I'm, I've no, been known to play the bad character. And then there's some actors that are just known, are really great at being the bad guy. Like um, the guy that plays um, Gus in... Oh, I can do that. Crap. I did not know that. Hey, don't make fun of me. Um, I didn't you you snare girl, did you? Snare girl? Snare girl. Look at you. I know. Wow. Oh. New level. Hey, <laughs> I've been here, Sydney. I died. Oh, you have? Yes. Wow, I really do pay attention, huh? Yeah. Aw, do you hear him? Yeah. <laughs> Oh! You're hurting him. Oh! <laughs> that was so close. Okay, let's try this. But um, yeah, I I, I really do appreciate. It. And it's like for like The Office. The Office has good actors in it that make you feel like oh, and give you the cringiness they have. But in real life, they're like not cringy at all. My friend is doing, uh, they have a project in their class where they have to voice over a thing, and uh -huh. she's made it so it's not her voice speaking, it's people from the office speaking. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's really cool. If I can get her to send it to me, I will, and let you watch it. Oh my gosh. She, oh my gosh. So it's, it's like a, a narrator and then two people debating, and so the narrator is Michael Scott, and then the two people <laughs> debating are Jim and Scott. Dwight. Why did I call him Scott Dwight? I was about to say, is it not? I was like, wait, is there a Scott? <laughs> it is Dwight. I'm terrible with names, so I was like, at first I was like, wait, Scott? <laughs> I thought it was Dwight. It's really funny. I didn't watch the whole thing. I just watched the beginning where um, they introduced themselves. It's something about uh, Mount, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Is that the one with the president's faces on it? Yes. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. It's a, like a debate on whether or not they should tear it down. Oh. But it's a class project, so it's not real. Oh, crap. <gasps> wow. Look at you. I know. I swear, Mountain all I gotta get through next is the platform. Oh! oh! Because I was like, oh! He's actually really cool looking. He is. Oh, no! Carter, you were so close. I killed him! Oh my god. 
I was so confused, and I was like, I'm dead, crap, ah, and then I lived, and then I was like, wait, what? I was like, then wait, well, I have not lived before, and then I was like, oh wait, maybe it's because I have one health, and then all of a sudden, I have one health, and I'm dead. Oh, oh, Oh! Oh, bro! Okay. Oh, oh! Carter! I realized at the last second, and he died once again! I know, it's been like a good hour of me doing this. Crap! I need my parries! God Parry the platypus! Come on! You know, I never watched that show. I've only watched a little bit, but I know a lot about it. know what I found out today. What? We're not the only kids who weren't allowed to watch Spongebob. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. There uh, are other people who their parents didn't let them watch Spongebob. And? And what? What about it? I just, you know, like anyone I've ever met in my entire life thought it was weird that oh, my yeah. parents didn't let us watch Spongebob. No, I know. And then I finally find out that, you know, no, we're not the only one. No, what I found weird, oh, because for anyone that doesn't know, our parents, um, I don't know if it was mutual or whatnot, but, um, oh, gosh, um, they, um, kept us from being able to watch Spongebob. Um, the only time I ever saw it was in McDonald's. I saw it, um, on a, I saw season eight, I think, um, on a choir trip in middle school to um, Six Flags. And now as an adult, I'm like, oh yeah, it is stupid. But at the same time, they do have hilarious episodes, I will say. Well, it's like, it's just a thing that everybody, if you make a reference from Spongebob, mm -hmm. everybody knows what it means. Sometimes. Except for me. Yeah. <laughs> because I've never watched it. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes it's just what happens in, like, the meme or the reference. Like, I know the... I know who the characters are, and I, I've seen enough clips to kind of get that it's random stuff going on. Yeah, and that's the thing. Um, There's actually been a study that I read a long time ago. I don't know if they have continued to study it or not. I had a scratch. Um, but... um. It was like some people that have watched SpongeBob as a kid um, grow up to not having the same like length of um, paying attention span and staying focused as other people. Well, that would any show. Well, that's the thing. Um, like because of how fast paced it is, like how much movement, how many like it changes from one scene to another one. Oh, freak! That was my fault. Uh -huh kind of deal while like sesame street it kind of like it's a slow pace however sesame street also has a problem because it is designed one you have monsters that are speaking in um lisps and stuff so like cookie monster like kids learn to say cookie like that or can't some people have lisps and stuff like that so they learn to say words and stuff with a lisp it's not terrible, but at the same time, um, like, um, Door the Explorer. Freak! Door the Explorer is, um, a show that you are supposed to interact with. And parents are supposed to not have it just run in the background. At a certain age, sure. But, at, like, the beginning of, like, lifespan. <sighs> lifespan, if you just play it, it doesn't really help. Because you're supposed to be there to help interact with, like, the episode with your kids. Um, and it's the same for Sesame Street. Um, you really ran into that. I know. Oh. Oh. I would just end now. <sighs> okay. <gasps> but, um, Spongebob, there's no interactions, really, and so you just get this, like, fast pace of trying to, like, figure out what the heck is going on, and for young brains, they can't really process that much that fast, and so... 
their attention span is kind of whoa. But once again, this was a study that was done like 2015, I think. But at the same time, I realized anyone that was like obsessed with in like middle school when I read that thing, um, anytime I saw someone like with a SpongeBob backpack or was like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going home to watch SpongeBob all the time, they were the ones that either caused the most mischief or um, just were not the best academically or um, paid attention that much. And do I think Spongebob is the only reason? No. But it's just interesting to think about. Yeah, that could be... I used be. to watch Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry, and that's the thing. Like, Tom and Jerry, it's a, in a sense, to a certain point, slow pace. But still I not... think it's pretty fast paced. I have trouble keeping up with it. Really? But, listen. Sometimes, oh, freak. I'm trying to figure out how in the world he got rolled into a carpet. I didn't see the thing roll. Sometimes it's a little fast. Well, we've almost been going for an hour this episode. At this point, it probably has been shaven down by future me to about 30 minutes. But I want to finish this one level before I do anything more. Oh my god. I killed him too! Again! How do you keep doing that? Okay, you know what? Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys somehow enjoyed me not being able to pass this level, but being able to finish two levels and well, one boss in one level. So we're gonna skip this one for right now. I'm gonna come back to it after I beat another boss or two. Um, because it's been an hour of this recording session for this one. Yeah, and we've realized how much you really do suck. Uh huh. Yeah, at this one level. You're not a true gamer. <laughs> then you try. I'm good. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. So, with that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.